Hey YouTube, it's Abby again, and I am so excited. It is finally ready to go. I finally have all the pieces so that I can show you how I set up and play with the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Matt, the engineer from Microsoft who reached out to me, who sent me this to begin with, sent me some more loot. These buttons, these add-ons, all these awesome things so that I can play in a very customizable kind of way. I can make this thing work for me and you with me on video right now, you're gonna come with me as I figure this thing out. So we're gonna do it together. No matter how your body is or how fast you are, you can play. It's a really good thing to have in this world. I know some of you who have been watching my videos the last few weeks, you've been waiting for me to do this, and so have I. I've been so excited to do this video, but I just had to wait for the right parts, and Matt not only sent me like one thing that could make this work for me, but like a bunch of stuff. So let's go over that real quick. Number one, I have, this is from Warfighter Engage. This is one of their main buttons add-ons. This will plug into the back, I'll show you in a minute. This is made by Microsoft and Xbox, where you can do like pretty much exclusively one-handed, I mean talking about five fingers only gaming for certain games. And then these are two buttons that can be used interchangeably. However, I map the adaptive controller, that's how I can make these work. And I think I can like even use these with my feet if I wanted to do that. But yeah, let's check it out. We just kind of got to find out together. I'm gonna open the uh, the adaptive controller first. What's really cool about this box is uh, it's, it's accessible and easy to use from the very beginning. So you have this tab right here and you can just lift it and open it like that. And then if you need extra assistance pulling this out, it actually has a a handle thing but this is it this is the this is the controller itself as you can see on the back here that's where all the add-on plugins go and there are I think more than 15 inputs here which means that this is a controller in and of itself to a limited degree but it's really actually a hub so with all the configuration ability like remapping and all the things you can plug into the back to make this customizable for you it's it's just unbelievably versatile all right, so that's pretty much all that comes in the box. There is a um, small guide here to, to get started. The cord is already out. This is, uh, not only can you plug it into the Xbox and plug your headphones into the side here, but it's Bluetooth, so you don't have to plug it in at all. And I think there's probably a pretty big battery in here, so I'm imagining the charge will last a while. I mentioned Matt from Microsoft before, the uh, engineer at Microsoft who sent me all of these goodies. He also builds customized um, like boxes or, or like stations or whatever for gaming and so there's a potential of uh, getting a really incredible super custom setup just for me um, maybe we'll work on that together later on if if I do get something like that I will absolutely film it and show you what we come up with but for now I'm kind of just discovering how to make this work best for me as it is uh, I'm gonna put this aside for now so these are these are by AbleNet these the, the blue button and the red button AbleNet is the company that makes these I think I'm gonna use these two for like Maybe the A and B buttons, or maybe X or Y. I just, I don't know. We'll see. I think it depends on the game, too. These look like virtual bongos. That's what I want to use that for. Okay. All right, so we got a uh, blue button here. This is bringing me back to, like, arcade days, when everything was, like, the enlarged version of what you could take home. Now we're coming full circle. This piece I'm particularly excited about because this is like, this is, this looks like it's going to be really easy to control. I, look at this thing. This is so cool. So it's like the left side for me, the left side of a standard controller without the rest of the controller. And this one, this one's a USB input and that goes in right on the left or right side USBs inputs. Um, like, yeah. Also, I have to mention, there is something incredible about this, the adaptive controller. You can use a standard controller with this. So if you want to partially use your standard controller um, with your hand or whatever, and then you want to use um, the adaptive on the other side, you can do that. It's called Copilot. It's this incredible feature. I mean, I think the way that you can customize this is, is nearly unlimited. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. It has the Xbox button right here. The light is on. I have the controller, one-handed controller um, plugged in. And the game that I've chosen to play first, now this is gonna be like the simple game that I actually just hit A on by accident because these very large accessible buttons were right there. Um, but I'm gonna play uh, 
Nidhogg first. I don't know if some of you have heard of Nidhogg, some of you haven't. Those who have played know the joys and wonders of Nidhogg. It is like simple graphics, simple gameplay, but it's so fun. Two player kind of arcade style, but um, I have discovered that I can play it completely one-handed with the one-handed controller plugged right here into the adaptive controller and just that's it. I've never played a game like that before. So I'm going to show you how this one works first and then we'll get into like some more complicated stuff with these buttons later. Look at this. I'm just, I'm just doing it. I feel like I'm holding one of those like PowerPoint presentations like a professor like, all right, now we're going to start over from chapter seven on this lecture and, uh, oh, hold on a sec. Let me see if I can get this slide to go over. Okay. Yep. We got it. All right, here we go. Arcade, uh, dope space sunglasses and an armband. And, uh, I like those, I like those shoes, dog. And about that hair though. And just so you know, I'm not really going to be touching the adaptive controller at all, but it is, like I said, acting as a hub. So everything I'm doing, I'm controlling with the uh, one-handed remote here. Here we go, y'all. All right. Um, I gotta get used to holding this again. Oh! Oh, snap! That was awesome. Oh, I'm going this way. Oh, oh, I beat you again. Oh! <laughs> Right in my face. Oh, what did I throw it for? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> you were laughing at me, then you fell off. I don't screen already. Oh, I'm still going. <laughs> I was crawling. <gasps> that would have hit that me. That totally would have. You beat me, okay. You lose! Good day, sir! So my friend Andrew, who's helping me film today, had a brilliant idea with specifically with the game Call of Duty, which is one of my favorites. I would need a little extra help, not a ton of extra help with a, a ton of add-ons. So what I'm going to test out right now is Copilot, which means that I can use the standard Xbox controller with the adaptive controller. And his idea was to put the adaptive controller plus a couple of the add-ons on the floor so I can actually use the uh, a couple of the extra buttons with my feet. So with the standard controller I can I can use I can hit these buttons left trigger I can use my paw to hit the X Y and B buttons and a little bit of the right analog stick but I do have a pretty hard time with the right trigger and right button over here especially when I have to hit like anything over here and those at the same time. So what I have now going on is is these right trigger and right button and left button remapped to the adaptive controller on the ground. As you can see there on the menu, um, now the uh, adaptive can be configured with co-pilot with, uh, with the standard controller. So check it out. Throwing cluster grenade. Yeah. So I threw a grenade right there. I did that with my foot. Oh my gosh, I just hurt myself because I just wasn't paying attention. All right, yeah, and then left trigger, which is, I guess that, or left button rather, that gave me some health. And then, oh, that's fire, actually, it's not jump. Interesting, so I can like zoom and aim, I mean, I can, I can aim and scope. And then fire with my foot, so I don't even have to worry about the right trigger, which is very different for me. Snap, that's crazy. Normally I have to like, I have to reach, when I'm doing scope plus, um, like moving it around plus fire, I have to scope with my paw and then move it around with this on the right side, like move my thumb from this side to that side of the controller usually. And then the trigger is the left trigger. But if the trigger is now on my foot, on my right foot, um, basically I have the freedom to move. The, the controllers from lefty, which is what I usually have to play to default, which allows me to scope with my left finger like that, and then pull the trigger with my foot, which means I can move it around independently without having to move my thumb over to that other thing. This is so cool. I'm free! Now, I think I'll be faster in multiplayer as a result. Man, I can't wait to like really try to play and like get used to this. This is very, very awesome. 
Well, I have to say, this is this is very cool. Now, I'm just just scratching the surface of what this thing can do right now. Um, this is kind of a different thing that I had planned. I really didn't know what I had planned. I really just wanted to try this out and like see how it went with a shooter game and a simple game. And I've done that today. Um, and you got to see what that's about. But like really, I think over the next couple of months, I'll probably make another video or two kind of delving in more to like how have I set this up as time has gone on to make this work optimally for me. And like I mentioned before, my friend at Microsoft, Matt, who sent me all this stuff, he has the capability to build like a, a very custom setup for me so that I can have a piece here, a piece there, a piece whatever, so that uh, it's like a permanent setup and I can just kind of get ready, like plug and go when I'm ready to play a game. So this is very raw at the moment, but you can see how, what kind of potential it has. So check out um, Warfighter Engaged, their website and their social media so you can see what kind of things are available to plug into the adaptive controller. Of course, check out Xbox and Microsoft. And then AbleNet, which they also make add-ons for the adaptive controller as well. You guys, video games, the world of video games is changing. It has changed and it's morphing to something bigger and more inclusive and more accessible. And that is just, that is a special, wonderful thing. I can't, I'm so honored and happy and excited to represent just a small piece of it that I was included in this um, just by the gift of this, of the adaptive controller. I'm so excited to continue to play with it, to share more videos. Please leave comments below, giving your input, asking questions about this experience, uh, maybe uh, giving some suggestions or ideas of what might help me further or what, what you've done if you're a one-handed gamer or you're a physically different player yourself. That would be great. I would love to hear from you. And by all means, just continue to check out videos of people who do things like this differently, like myself and others. There are plenty of other gamers out there who do things, they have to do things differently and they're finding ways and they're getting help from companies like Microsoft. Check out their videos, search them on YouTube, Google, whatever. Share this video. Um, I just love to continue to help to spread the word and uh, just make this whole world of video gaming more possible for everybody. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to check out the rest of my channel to see more five finger, one handed life stuff from Abshow. Check out my Patreon page. It's a way to support Abshow, get behind what I'm doing with all of this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications below. Thank you so much again for watching and a special shout out to my patrons here in just a second.